history. Longhorns looking to keep their streak alive of winning every Big 12 series this year. The last three, they've had to win the third game to win the series as we open up at UFC Dishball Field. Augie Garrido's clubs. Well, runs have been hard to come by the last week and a half, and Longhorns down two to nothing in the first inning to Kansas Brooks Marlowe. The nice stab on Alex DeLeon's shot. Horns settle down on defense this weekend, but they could not get it going. Thomas Taylor had the horns baffled. Michael Suter, the nice catch on Kevin Lusson's pop fly. No hits for Texas through four. They go to the fifth, and they finally get in the hit column, and then some. Taylor Stell, the freshman, RBI single, and it is two to one, Kansas. And then Eric Weiss. He had been struggling and then broke out of his slump over the weekend. That's a two-run double for Weiss. And Texas takes a 3-2 lead. We are still in the fifth inning. Jonathan Walsh also breaking out of a bit of a hitting slump. This one a long sack fly to cap off that four-run fifth inning. Horns up 4-2. Texas then would play a little add-on. Jordan Etier rips one into the right field corner. That scores another one in... Brooks Marlowe and then Mark Payton, the beautiful squeeze right here. Longhorns get six and seven on the board. Seven to two is the score. And then they turn it over to that dynamic bullpen duo. Hobie Whit Milner gets the win. He's their winningest pitcher, picked up his sixth win. Corey Knable closes it out. Not a save situation. Longhorns get the win. They're 11 and four in conference, 23 and 14 overall. They bounce back from that loss on Friday. Uh, all in all, if we could learn how to win on Friday outside of the state of Oklahoma, we'd be doing better. Typically, uh, in all seriousness, you know, typically if, if we were sitting here with four losses without the fabulous string of wins that Baylor's put together, we'd be right where we'd want to be. We want to get every experience out of the remaining games that we possibly can, get better. I think we did get take another step forward defensively with the infield this week, and I thought we put together a nice rally today to, to come from behind and win. I think we just got some more confidence, just growing as a team and getting better, learning from the adversity of the first game was excellent. I thought this weekend was our best defensive weekend because we were making so many diving plays and, and line drive, jump up and caught them, and the play that Brooks and, and uh, Jordan made up the middle. Also, just this is awesome. Shows how good our defense is. Orange wrap up their nine-game homestand Tuesday against Central Arkansas. Then it's off to College Station. Final scheduled game at A&M on Friday. They'll host the Aggies Saturday and Sunday. Aggies in Waco. Augie referenced the amazing run Baylor's on, looking for their 24th straight, trying to go 18 and 0 in Big 12 play. Max Muncy, the chopper in the first against the Aggies, gets by right field, and it is one to nothing. And then Josh Ludy, he fouled off 10 pitches before going deep. The Baylor Bears do it again. They are 18-0. They've won 24 straight. They beat the Aggies 7-5. A&M now falls into third at 9-6 overall. Next Big 12 series for Baylor in two weeks at Oklahoma, and then they'll close it out with the Longhorns. Well, across the street from the baseball stadium at Combs Field, Longhorns trying to win their series with Oklahoma State. Got some defense. Tamara Brown lines up Alexi Bennett. The toss to second, and that's a double play. Horns up 1-0 on the Cowgirls. Taylor Thumb into right center field, and that scores the second run of the ball game. And then how about Taylor Hoagland, home run specialist, showing the touch. Great bunt right there. Scores a run. Longhorns behind Blair Luna go on to win it. They're 11 and 5. They trail OU only in the standings at 13 and 4. That AM on Thursday is their next Big 12 and.